What's going on, everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we today we've got a little bit of a short update for you guys in terms of our injury list heading into that next game against the Dallas Mavericks, which I believe is going to be one of the funnest games of the season for the Chicago Bulls. Again, I really, really do rate Luka Doncic and that Dallas Mavericks team. However, with all that being said, it's obviously a game that the Bulls really do need to win. With the amount of, I guess, the downward slumps that we've had, a win over Dallas, I think, could be huge for the Chicago Bulls and of course knowing what we have to come after that in a back-to-back -back, as well as what we got against the Knicks as well. There are some winnable games here ladies and gentlemen for the Bulls team and I'd really like to see us capitalize on some of these games but before we get started please like and subscribe to the Bulls show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls obviously the injury concerns we have coming into this game as well as the chances we can walk away with a win against Dallas. They're a team that we can't take lightly even though we have had recent success against Dallas before, it's not going to be an easy game. Dallas will always provide a challenge. Luka will always provide a difficult matchup for any single team in the NBA. So we've got to be very prepared and we've got to bring our very best into this game if we're going to walk away with a win. But of course, we do have some injury news to talk about. Now, there's only one player we're going to be talking about today, which for the most part is a positive because that means everybody else will be healthy and ready to go. But the player that we're going to be missing is, in my opinion, very, very big for the Chicago Bulls and has been since he's been injured and his name is Javonte Green. Now there's still a chance he will play this game. It's actually been upgraded from doubtful over the last couple of games to questionable this time out against the Dallas Mavericks. Now questionable is a 50-50 chance. 50% chance he will play 50% chance he may not play this game against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I'm glad that he's progressing along. Again, just looking at the signs of probable, uh, doubtful, questionable, all those situations. He is moving along, ladies and gentlemen. He is getting better. He's getting healthier, and that's always great to see. I personally still think he's going to be missing this game, if you're asking me in all honesty, just because we have the back-to-back -back against the Hawks after, after that. So in my opinion, he's either going to miss this game or he's going to miss the game afterwards against Atlanta. I don't think he's going to play both of them. I think he will end up playing one of them, and I just don't know which one it would be. But if I had to take a guess, we would be seeing him against Atlanta most likely. Or maybe he just misses both, ladies and gentlemen, which will be very, very big for the Chicago Bulls as well. Again, it is based on a bone bruise. All the best of Vontae Green, hopefully he's recovering well. And again, we're going to really see how important he is for the Bulls when he comes back. Billy Donovan has stressed that already that he's going to be a starter when he returns to the Chicago Bulls. So we are missing our starting power forward right now for this team. And that's going to be huge for any single um, player, any single team, when you're missing a starting level or starting caliber player. So all the best to Javonte Green. Hopefully he can get better. And let's wait and see what we can do against Dallas. We've won games without Javonte Green against the Wizards. So let's see if we can do it again against the Dallas Mavericks. And just hopefully we can continue to pile up some wins, some winnable games as well for the Chicago Chicago Bulls. We'll see what we can do in a couple of hours time against the Dallas Mavericks. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the injury news that we need to talk about heading into that Dallas Mavericks game. I'm very excited for this game. I can't lie. And I'm hoping that we're going to have a great game. First and foremost, I want a game that a lot of people are going to be talking about by the end of it. But I also want a game in which we win. We got to win. That's the first thing I'll take over anything. I'd rather a blowout, very boring game to watch, I guess, for a neutral standpoint for the Bulls there a close competitive loss in many ways. I want to see this Bulls team win and I want to see us pick up some, some momentum for our season because if the season is going to be saved, it has to start against Dallas and it started against the Wizards. We've got to keep on building on this, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're if you're new and we'll wait and see what we can do. Let's see if Dallas is going to be the progression of something special or if it's going to be another, I guess, situation where we're talking about the Bulls being really, really inconsistent. With all that being said, have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.